Hey guys, get unready with me for the last time ever. Okay, that was so dramatic, but I wasn't going to film this because it's so late right now and I don't usually post at this time, but a lot of you guys wanted me to do a get unready with me since it's my last night here. And so if you ask, then you shall get. It feels so weird knowing the fact that this is going to be my last night sleeping in my own bed. Not that I'm sleeping in anyone else's bed when I moved to New York, but like my own bed at home. I don't know why I made that sound so weird, but you know what I mean. I wanted to use my Rode Milky Toner because I like using that toner at night, but I forgot I packed it all up along with everything else, so I'm just left with like four certain skincare, skincare products. But I literally cannot believe it's my last night here. Like, it's so weird. A lot of you guys were saying that you guys didn't recognize my room because of literally how empty it is in the back. My mom keeps yelling at me. Oh my god, she's coming. I just got back from my friend's house. She was just in London, and this was like our final goodbye, and it was so much fun. We had a little girls' night, and we made cookies. If you follow me on Snapchat, you'll see how bad they turned out. Well, no, they turned out good, but the process of making it, like, it did not look so promising. Anyways, yeah, I'm so, like, excited and nervous, so I guess nerve excited for tomorrow and, like, the whole move. But I'm gonna watch a good movie tonight and have a chill last night in my room. If you guys have any good movie recommendations, let me know. I feel like I've been watching so many movies and shows recently, but there's nothing good anymore because i've watched all the good ones okay i just stole this from my mom's bathroom because i packed up all my hair stuff and i need to put stuff in my hair so it's not frizzy in the morning y'all my cat has been following me everywhere recently and he usually follows my mom because he's like obsessed with her but i think he knows okay last fuck fucking oil last little thing is oh my god i thought this was my lip balm okay change of plans i'm just gonna use the summer fridays one because i can't find the lip balm have a good night guys i'll see you guys in the morning it's currently quarter to eight i'm getting ready a bit late today but i did have to curl my hair and i spent about 20 minutes in the shower to be honest but i literally am just to go the, sh the skirt not the shower the skirting on it is so pretty it's just a lovely sapphire blue and i need to get pictures quick before it goes dark because the sky is a really nice blue and my dress is blue, so let's get it really cute. Today's just been a really nice day. We didn't really do much. We went to Mdina, I think it's called. Mdina? I think that's how you say it. We went there and it was really nice. We went on like a horse in a carriage. And it was literally awesome sauce. I had such a nice time. And the horses were so cute. And we saw a lot of things. And it was like where Game of Thrones is filmed. And I've never watched Game of Thrones, I don't think. I don't know, it's hard to keep track because I've watched a lot of things. But it was really nice to see it. So we went to MD, you know, and then when we got back, my cousin and I literally just went in the pool. You can't really tell my tan lines that much here, but I've tanned so nicely. I just want to get really good tan lines because I love having the most impeccable tan lines ever. And tomorrow is going to be my last chance to tan, so I need to take advantage. Oops. So tonight we're going to this restaurant. It's called blue elephant i think and it's i think it's like thai food i absolutely love thai food it's one of my favorite cuisines and we heard a lot of good things about it so we're going to be going there tonight and i'm really really excited oh my gosh i haven't even done my sweeps yet hang on let me rub my bronzing drops in then i will because i love sweeps and i just love canned holiday drinks drinks you get on holiday chef's kiss life hacks if you've got nails Also, I finally finished my book today. I've been reading Girl Interrupted. It's literally taken me a month because I just didn't want to finish it. Like, it's honestly, my, just, it is my favourite book that I've ever read, to be honest. I absolutely love reading. And it's just the best book I've ever read. It's an autobiography by this girl called Susanna Kaysen, and it's so good. If I haven't said already, it's called Girl Interrupted. I love it. And the ending literally had my jaw on the floor with Lisa and how they just saw it. Oh, I don't want to spoil too much, but it was so good. I don't know how people open this bronzer with such ease. I literally cannot do it to save my life. It looks like we're only having one bronzer stain. Can you do some pot concealer and then I think I'm going to be done. It has just taken me ages to curl my hair, but it's worth it because the curls have absolutely ate. I'm really excited though because tomorrow we're going to be doing jet skis and paragliding and kayaking. 
Also, I go back to school on Thursday. I go back in, like, I think it's two days. I really need to crack my neck. I go back in, like, two days now, and I still don't have my timetable. I'm stressed. Also, look at this little flower clip. I got it just to clip my hair back because I lost my other clip, but I love it. I think it looks so cute. I just love these flower clips. They're so summery and aesthetic and cute. Very cutesy, very demure, very mindful. Guys, I know this sounds bad, but get on ready with me at 20 past 1 p.m. Yeah, most people go out at this time. Oh! Huh. Whether I am just a different creature, so I'm getting on ready now, but I'm going to be telling you what I've been doing this weekend. Okay, it's so basically, literally none of you know this, because yesterday I was not on my phone. Actually, that's a lie. I was, but I just wasn't very active, if you know what I mean. Like, you don't really know how to describe it. But yesterday... Okay, mate okay mate okay babe anyway yesterday i had a party and i didn't get rid of me and you guessed it it disappeared it just deleted out of nowhere and i was a bit annoyed not gonna lie because i think that was probably like the last party of the year because like 13th birthdays are like like a big number because like you're turning into a teenager but then like 14 you're just like not really gonna have a party also, this is hyaluronic and it actually plumps your lips, but you just don't know it because you can't feel it. But it feels so nice when, like, you rub this against your lips. Oh, I love it. And guys, I've been thinking, like, why does my ordinary, why does my ordinary hyaluronic acid serum always look like yellow? And it's because they changed their formula. Because, yeah, they just have. So yeah. And guys, guess who reached out to me? Guess. Bioma. I remember when I used to like DM brands on Instagram and I'd be like, hey, have you got any spaces on your PR list? I'd love to promote your like products. And they'd be like, sorry, our PR list is full. But then they've texted me saying like, you just need to like fill out a form. But like they've texted me directly on TikTok and then they've been commenting on my videos as well. And they've said they, they're like asking for a skin type. So obviously we see something coming with that. <laughs> but guys, if I get sent by them, that will literally be a dream. Like I remember it was like my favourite brand. And in the start of my get ready these, I always used to use I got like the the mist, the moisturizer. I always used to be obsessed with my friends' moisturizers, the sprays, the toners, the everything. So if I got sent that Oh, hello. Um, anyways, but if I got sent that, that would actually be a joke. I know I'm putting serums over moisturiser, which is really bad, but it's fine, just eff it. Guys, I do put skincare on my forehead. Everyone thinks I don't, but whenever I stop it, I go like this. So, yes. <gasps> School is in three days. No, 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 no. No, no. Guys... The six-week summer holiday is over. Ugh. But it's over forever. Anyways, guys, that was my little skincare routine at now half past one. Actually, I tell a lie. That took two minutes. Actually, that wouldn't be scientifically possible because it's now three minutes. Anyway. <sighs> Bye, guys. Love you. Mwah. Hey, guys. Get ready with me. I'm going home today. Sad times, isn't it? So, I'm getting ready. Can you pass me things, please? Like what? Whatever I tell you to get me. Anyway, I'm going to. Tell me. Yeah, please. Oh, thank you, Amelia. It's okay, your sister's done it now. Right, so I'm going in with the serum on my face. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Okay, I'll do it myself then. Yeah, because I just so, on my carpet. Okay, so I'm going in with this. I got it yesterday. It smells a bit dodgy, but it's fine. Oh. So I'm going to. I'm doing my moisturizer. I put too much on, but it's fine. I'm just gonna bang it on here. And then after I've done that, I'm gonna do my actual makeup. I'm struggling to open this, guys. Thank you. But I'm gonna find my brush while I do that. And then, yeah. Oh, what have you done to it? I haven't done anything to Jesus it. Jesus Christ. Wow, what's wrong with it? Oh, oh yeah, it got a bit smushed. I'm doing my contour now. I'm just dabbing it on my face. So my face is wet, though, still, so it's going patchy. One sec, guys. I put a bit much on, but it's fine. I'm gonna blend it out properly in a minute. I'm not gonna put blush on because I don't want to wear it today. I'm gonna put on. 
No, I don't know that one. Yeah, it's Biden's. I'm putting on my concealer if I can find it. You know, it's so Now I'm going to do my highlighter. Bram. 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 Um, Bram. here. Yeah. Do you not think it looks nice? Bram. Here. I've got on your nose earlier. Do you want to show everyone your makeup I did earlier? You want to? Okay. I did immediately as makeup earlier. Yeah. I'm going in with my Dior concealer underneath my eyes now. Here. And then I'll do the other one after I've blended this one out. If you watch my shopping haul, you know I bought this yesterday. I bought this powder. So I'm going to use that. It looked good when she put it on me. So yeah. Oh, it's got a sponge in the bottom. Look how cool. It's got a sponge in it, Louie. Thanks for listening. I'm just gonna put on my setting spray, then we're gonna do my mascara on my lips because Amelia wants to put the gloss on me. I'm lining my lips. Do my mascara. I'm all ready now. I've done my makeup. Be thankful, Louie. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna get me feet. Yeah, yeah. I'm already in the UI telling you things that my non strict parents let me do. First of all, they gave me my first car at 15 without a license. Well, I was either 15 or 16, but the point is, I did not have a license. And they gave me a car. I'm like, now I love it, but at the time, like, I had a car and I couldn't drive it, you know what I mean? Also, I can eat, like, whatever I want. Some parents are, like, really weird about what their kids, like, can't and can eat. But my parents literally let me eat whatever I want, whenever I want. Um, at, like, whatever time. Like, it's not that deep. Also, my shirt is so cute. It's from Alfred Keaton, and I'm obsessed with it. I'm allowed to go to most places. I mean, I am 17, but as long as they kind of know, like, who's going to be there and stuff like that, like, they're mostly fine with it. As long as it's just, like, a safe environment and we're not doing, like, any stupid stuff. I always have to, like, ask beforehand. I can decide whether or not I want to skip school. My parents have always been, like... If you want to skip, you can skip, but, like, the consequences are going to be your consequences, and we're going to have nothing to do with it. And I've always kind of understood that, so... But, like, if I'm not feeling well for whatever reason, I'm going to skip school. Um, with my money, I can buy whatever I want. They are going to most likely give their input on it if I'm buying something that's, like, not a good purchase. Um, I had a phase where I would buy a bunch of stuff that I just didn't need. They will obviously, like, give their input and be like, don't buy that, you don't need that. But they're not gonna be like, you can't buy that, you know what I mean? Like, they're trying to teach me responsibility with money. And sometimes you can just learn that on your own, so. I'm allowed to post whatever I want on social media, both, like, Instagram and TikTok and a lot of fun stuff. And like I said, they're probably still gonna give their, like, opinion, but... They're not gonna be like, take that down or anything like that. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know if you guys want a part two. I love you guys always, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. If you saw me sprinting through the streets of New York holding a white fluffy dog, mind your business. I just had the most stressful 40 minutes, like, fucking ever. So it all started when I'm leisurely hanging out in LBI this morning. I thought that I was going to the US Open tomorrow. My friend texted me. I completely forgot it was today. Within 10 minutes of figuring that out, I pack up my car. I get the fuck out of there. I've got the damn puppy with me. I fly all the way here. I'm making good time. I'm like, all right, I'm doing it. I'm carrying a crate, a suitcase, pee pads, everything up my bajillion fucking stairs because I live in a walk-up. get up to my apartment and I have a friend who was watching my cat while I was away. I was supposed to leave the key to my apartment by my door it's not fucking there so i'm like great my dog is freaking out because she has to pee she just sat in the car for like two and a half hours i whip out her pee pad in the middle of the hallway of my apartment i call my friend and i'm like where the hell is the key She's like fuck me i accidentally took it and i'm at a photo shoot so i can't leave so all the way back to my parking garage there's a million tourists trying to park their car in the garage it means they're behind me so my car is blocked in i try to order an uber uber for the first time in new york fucking history 10 minutes away got the damn puppy in my hand because i can't just leave her unattended in a crate in my building. I waited out for my car. I get in it. Now I'm driving down the street holding this fucking dog in my hand. Now I have like actually 22 minutes to get ready. Like Jesus Christ. And that just represents my life so well because even if I think I have everything under control, something always fucking happened. Now I feel like the puppy got like potty trained while she was in LBI. I was to go outside now, but like I can't take her outside here yet because she didn't get her damn shot. Oh, now I feel like we're digressing. Okay, here's the outfit. This is from Revolve. Super cute. Perfect for the US Open. Wearing these shoes from Manga. Now let me get this off my up. Pushing everything to my a little Louis bag. Spreading this Armani and we are good to fucking go. Keep you guys updated, obviously. And of course, I love you guys. Okay, bye. Part of me while I tell you why I don't talk to my little sister anymore. <laughs> if you know, you know. You've seen it. You've seen it.
I was never like that. Going to our dad's this morning. Well, actually, not this morning. In the afternoon for like a cookout thing. So why not look cute for it? It's just me and Claudia in the house. Jesse's away for work, so. We're going back to our roots where we live together. At this time, we have a massive, beautiful house and lots of animals inside of it. No parents. <laughs> Very blessed. <laughs> Went to a bar class this morning and I'm still literally shaking from it because it was so hard. And while I was there, Kennedy made homemade cinnamon Pop-Tarts. And took care of the dog and emptied the dishwasher. It's nice having her around. <laughs> oh, I like to hear you say that. If you guys watched my last TikTok, you would know I picked my wedding dress. And it's stunning. It's literally like, I can't stop looking at the photos Me of too. it. Because I'm so obsessed with it. And I did cry. <laughs> I was trying to hold it in. Well, it's just like every dress <laughs> I tried on, I just felt like it was like not there. Like I was just like, okay, this is like pretty, but it's just not the one. And I don't want to like settle for one. Honestly, truly thought you were going to end up going with the first one. After she tried the first one, I was like, nothing's going to beat this. It was so pretty, it looked so good on her. But then the last one is just like... I honestly think if I wouldn't have found the last one that she brought out, I would have probably went back to yeah. the first one and been like, oh, I'm not going to find better than this because yeah. it's so pretty. But she brought out the last one and it was just like a perfect mix of everything. It's the exact shape that Claudia wanted. And I put it on, I like remember I was just like looking at it and I was like, okay, wow. This one's <laughs> really pretty. I couldn't stop staring at it. It's so pretty. Literally magical. Like I wasn't even paying attention until she like just actually think... started tightening it on me. Princess fairy tale. It's not a it's not a boring wedding dress. Definitely not basic at all. Not like solid white. No. I personally really like because I don't love just like white, white wedding dresses. Which is funny because I always thought that I would end up getting like a bright white dress. I was just like, oh, that's what I like. Like I love the white ones. But nowadays I feel like a lot of wedding dresses are like that nude, like a, like a blush or like an ivory. And yeah. then they have like white. Yeah, which I think is so much it. prettier. It's so, it's literally like a dream. Stunning. I'm so excited like, to get it. It takes eight months to get back, but I'm so excited to get it. It's fit into my body. My mom also brought me her wedding dress to try on and I filmed a video that I'll have to post today or tomorrow of me trying it on because it's so funny. It's from the 80s. It's just crazy. It's like 30 years ago that she wore it. It is so opposite of what they have now. It's like a costume. But it is really funny and it fit me like perfectly, like as if it was made mm -hmm. for me, which is also just funny. So happy September 1st. It's officially fall in my eyes. So I'm definitely gonna decorate this week for fall. And the pumpkins are out at the little local farmer's market. And the sunflowers are bloomed. It's that time of the year. Expect a lot of fall content from this girl. <laughs> Actually, it's my one of my favorite times of the year to like film things and do like fun little fall activities and go get pumpkins and decorate. I am very excited. I'm over summer. Summer has <laughs> felt like it's been five years long for me. That has happened for me this summer. Summer's just felt long, but also this summer has been so brutally, disgustingly hot. It's necessarily the most enjoyable summer because you would go outside and it's just like felt hard to breathe. <laughs> my AC broke twice in New York. We also will be doing another wedding makeup trial soon because we did one for the day that I tried on my dress, but it ended up being rushed. And also we have like multiple things that we want to change again about it. So we're just going to wait and do it again. And I'm also going to get a spray tan for it. Spray tan is in my basement. Kennedy's going to be spray tanning me. Oh wait, you meant like actual spray tan? Yeah, like I'll use the machine. I don't machine know how on. to do that. It's very easy to do. If Jesse can do it for me with me giving him instructions, oh, you yeah. definitely can do it. I haven't had a spray tan in a while, but obviously for my wedding, I'm going to be getting a spray tan. I want so cool not to comment that there's something like, you're going to get a spray tan, you look red. And you I said, know. I was like, what, what kind of comment is this? Literally, I was like, what the fuck kind of comment is that? You that, guys are weird. Some of those things you got to keep in your head, you know, like that's not, you don't share that thought. I think so many people now make accounts that have nothing to do with like them or their name. So then they just literally comment whatever they want and have no shame. I'm not even just talking about people that comment on yours, but like other things too that I see, I'm just like. Yeah, the things that people feel comfortable saying on the internet now is actually like very mind-blowing. I just feel like it's gotten worse over time. It doesn't look that bad on you. It would be a good lipstick if you were doing an alien costume. <laughs> we were just on the phone with Dev and I basically finished my makeup. And that's the final look. We are all ready to go. Love you guys so much. Bye. I'm ready for me to go to school. Hey guys, little life update for everyone. Um, today is Friday, best day of the week ever because school is almost over. So, already my mood's like up by 5%. Right as I said that, my moisturizer spilled everywhere. Some exciting news. The Brilliance Bronzing Glaze Go To Glow Drops are finally coming out. And these are super versatile. And honestly, 
probably like some of the best bronzing drops I've ever tried and their skincare is used so like they're already benefiting your skin so much but like look how glowy that made me look and I didn't even put that much on and like already you can tell like it looks so good this is already my second time doing my makeup because the first time I like put a product on that I did not like and it just made my makeup look so cakey and I'm trying to go for a really natural look today but anyway, I have a little life update for you guys, um, just about guys, what's new? So for starters, I'm never mentioning a guy on my account never, ever again because somehow they always seem to find my account and assume every single video I make is about them, which is so annoying. Like, I can't make anything about my personality on here because I, even if I don't mention their names, which I never do, they always find my account somehow. And it's so annoying and, like, stressful and embarrassing because, like, I don't want you hearing, like, what I have to say. If I didn't tell you, it's probably for a good reason. Really annoying. Yesterday, my friend told me that, like, um, one time she was talking to him about something and then he said, like, that he found my account. And he, like, went through all my videos. Like, what? That's so embarrassing. I literally have videos from, like, over a year ago. And honestly, if you guys love me over a year ago, I'm sorry, but I was not the cutest. Like, I have, I've had my glow up since then, I think personally but it's just embarrassing like i don't want them scrolling to my page like that this page is not for guys especially not guys that i talk to this page is for girls and girls only that's already annoying because like i don't want you guys finding my account and then also just like everyone thinks that the stories they say are about them like no believe me if i had a story to say about you and i like talk to you in my personal life i would just tell you straight up like i wouldn't make a video on here and like you know yeah somehow all my ex situationships find this account so if you are one of them and you're watching this hi um i probably don't miss you so who's on with your life <laughs> anyway just kidding but that's just how it is like i can't live without something like that happening i just took a chemistry test the other day and i got my scores back and i got a d so i studied for nothing because it went to shit on the test so i actually need to rush because it's 7 21 and i leave my house at like 7 40 and i also need to eat breakfast and pack my lunch so i gotta go speed um monday i have schools off because it is president's day so i might be going to the beach with my friend um i have no idea yet though but if we do i am super excited because i just love going to the beach the beach is like my time to relax and like not worry about school at all even though i will have school the next day but i don't care because if i go to the beach i'll be happy for the rest of the week like no joke i have a math exam today that i'm definitely gonna fail so wish me luck for that because i'm gonna need it my friend complimented me on my lashes yesterday and i've just i've not been happier about that because she said like oh like your lashes look so long and i was like oh my god like really because i've been struggling so hard to like actually grow my lashes but i feel like babe lashes actually been working for me i have a picture before i started using it and i think i'm gonna take like an updated picture and then when i'm finally done using it i'll take like a final picture but like right now guys like my lashes are looking really long a little fit check so my romper is from timu and then my top underneath is hollister and i'm wearing my converse so that's my outfit for today hope you guys have a great day and i love you so much Of getting ready with me, so I'm gonna do that tonight. Normally, I'd have a shower after work because I think I feel really gross, but I did not want to be going to sleep with wet hair tonight, so I think I'll just not have a shower. I had a fun this morning, so it's fine, and I'll just do my skincare. First, I'm just gonna cleanse my face. I already did like a skincare routine in my backup account, so I won't really go in detail with my skincare tonight. Okay, I cleansed my face off of camera, and now it's a little bit red. And also, this pimple just decided to pop up on my forehead right before school goes back, so I really hope that goes, but. I'm just using this serum, it's actually really good. It's a great barrier relief one. I just put on some CeraVe moisturizer. I actually love doing my skincare and like getting ready for bed. It's so nice and then like you can actually relax. You can sit in bed, watch some TV. I don't know, I just love it. Favorite part of my day. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly brush my teeth now while I'm in the bathroom because the rest of my like skincare routine, I do in my bedroom. Okay, I just brushed my teeth and now I'm gonna get changed into my pajamas. I think I'll wear these ones tonight. Now, I'm just going to use a bit of this, like, blemish cream from Mecca. It's amazing. It gets rid of my pimples so quick. But you just need, like, the smallest amount, like, that much. Like, even less for one pimple. 
And I'm just gonna put it on this one here because that one's massive and I really want it to go before school. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for my skincare tonight. But I'm quickly just gonna like brush on my brows and lashes with a spoolie and then I'm gonna put on some of this lash serum. Now that I'm done at Ginny and Georgia, I'm watching Lucifer. I've already watched it um, twice before, so this is my third time watching it. But it's really good. Like my favorite TV show. I forgot how good it was. Now I'm just gonna put on this Sports Girl lip balm. That's it for my get on ready with me. Now I'm just going to sit in bed, watch some Lucifer, and then go to sleep. Hey guys, get ready with me. This is so sad. I'm last to my down, down? I'm down to my last toner pad of my annual ones. Right, I put some music on to lighten up the mood a little bit. Um, but today, I don't know what I'm actually going to do. I've, oh yeah, this is day two of doing my hairstyles every day that we'll eat. Um, I've done my little side part of my edges. But anyways, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing today. I I was going to film some content, so I might do that, but I don't know if I'm going out or what. I'm not going to do much skincare today. I'm literally, I'm using my Selly Max toner, and then I'm going to use my Selly Max moisturiser. Right, I've just done that. Now I'm going to use my Annua Brow Gel. Okay, um, I finished with that. I'm going to use my Laneige Lip Mask. Oh my God, it's just going so hot. My biz... Dazzled one. Okay, guys, I'm actually gonna go now. Actually, I need to be perfume, but it's so hot. I'm gonna spray Sol de Janeiro 68 because it matches the little pink theme. Okay, bye, guys. Morning, guys. Come get ready with me for school. My fit of the day, my school uniform. Let's put it on. Okay, it's all on. How cute. Let's do my hair and my skincare slash makeup. Okay, I got all my hair products out. Let's do my hair. Okay, my hair is all done. Guys, guess what was announced yesterday? Gracie Abrams is going on tour. It's the Secret of Us tour and I literally am so excited. I think tickets go on sale on the 5th of September, but I'm scared I won't be able to get any because she's only doing like one day. But I don't think it'll be too hard because she is going like all around Australia. So she's doing one day in Sydney, one day in Brisbane, one day in Perth, Adelaide and Melbourne. So unlike other artists, she actually is going everywhere in Australia. So yeah, I'm going to try to get tickets. I was not expecting her to announce her tour yet because she did come in January. Like I was expecting Sabrina to announce hers first. Like I'm literally still waiting for her. A few more artists that I really want to see live is Noah Khan and also Chapel Roan. I feel like she's just so fun. I was actually thinking that you know how OBX is coming out in october and november i think it was we are literally going to be having an obx summer like i know it's going to be still spring but it's basically summer so us aussies are finally getting an obx summer like america is going to be in like autumn okay i'm already let's do a few things before i leave my scent is in the stars it smells so good i love it but i'm ready for school and i hope you all have an amazing day bye guys so we're getting ready to go out literally my whole get ready with me just deleted in front of my eyes and i didn't even realize it so yeah, everything that I talked about is pretty much gone. Basically, I was mainly talking about how I'm going as fast as I possibly can because I hate having people wait on me and that I am exhausted, but Welcome Week has been a lot of fun, but I just gotta go. I mean, I didn't really do any crazy skincare anyway because I did my skincare like three different times today. So I think it's fine. I'll do it again before I go to bed. 24 minutes late. This is really, it's okay. The night is still young, kinda. I do have to be up early tomorrow. Still has not hit that I'm starting college. Honestly, still feel like I'm at home. I swear these do help me go faster. All I have to do is a little bit of blush and set. I could never open this blush to save my life. Bro, I don't have to. My roommate opened it, bless her heart, because I would have been here for years. I don't know when this video is gonna be posted, but it sure as hell won't be tonight. Maybe tomorrow, when I'm supposed to be paying attention to these intro things for my major a real quick little one too because all right let's drown our face all right y'all we are finished deuces deuces and deuces